हेलो सर मैं निवेश वंशी सैमवन रोल नंबर एम एस सेवेंटीन वन फाइव फाइव एंड माई टॉपिक ऑफ प्रेजेंटेशन वुड भी एम्पलीफिकेशन ऑफ वेज फ्रॉम रोटेटिंग बॉडी फॉर दी कोर्स आई डी सी फोर फाइव टू सेमिनार डिलीवरी इंट्रोडक्शन इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी वन जेल्डोविच प्रोडिक्टेड डेट क्वांटम फ्लक्चुएशन एंड क्लासिकल वेव्स रिफ्लेक्टेड फ्रॉम अ रोटेटिंग एब्जॉर्बिंग सिलेंडर विल गेल एनर्जी एंड बी एम्पलीफाइड दिस कंसेप्ट which is a key step towards understanding that black holes may amplify quantum fluctuations has not been verified experimentally owing to the challenging experimental requirement that the cylinder rotation rate must be larger than the incoming wave frequency in this paper the researcher demonstrate experimentally that these conditions can be satisfied with acoustic waves they show that low frequency acoustic modes with orbital angular momentum are transmitted through an absorbing rotating disk and amplified up to 30% or more when the disk Rotation rate satisfies Zeldovich condition. These experiments address an outstanding problem in fundamental physics and have implications for future research into the extraction of energy from rotating systems. Theoretical development. In 1969, Roger Penrose proposed a method to extract the rotation energy of a rotating black hole, now known as Penrose super radiance. Jakob Zeldovich translated this idea from a rotating black hole to that of a rotating absorber. such as a metallic cylinder and showed that it would amplify incident electromagnetic waves and even vacuum fluctuations that had angular momentum zeldovich found the general condition for amplification from an absorbing rotating body which is omega minus l times capital omega less than 0 or omega less than l times capital omega this just means that the incident wave frequency has always to be smaller than the order of the angular momentum times the rotation rate of the absorber when this is satisfied the absorption changes sign and the rotation medium acts as an amplifier outgoing waves then have an increased amplitude therefore extracting energy from the rotation energy of the body in the spirit of penrose proposal the zeldovich condition Satisfying the Zeldovich condition with electromagnetic waves is an obstacle, even with order of angular momentum one. The frequency of the rotator should be in the range of gigahertz to picohertz region, and the current rotation speeds available for rotors currently lie in the range of hundred to thousand hertz. But recent studies show that this condition of observation or amplification can be achieved by acoustic waves. The acoustic wave will transform under a rotation Doppler shift due to disk rotation such that. The transform frequency becomes omega minus l capital omega, implying that the wave frequency will become negative when the Zeldovich condition is satisfied. The proposed model requires sending an acoustic wave in transmission through a rotating absorbing disk. This model is better than sending waves radially inwards towards the outer surface of the rotating disk, since it allows uses relatively lower frequencies for both wave. and this rotation while keeping the dimension of the model compact enough working of the model here we have a ring of 16 lot speakers which are all driven at the same frequency 60 hertz each with a specific phase delay in order to approximate a helical phase front generating a beam with order of angular momentum 24 beams of different order of angular momentum can be produced by changing the phase delay between adjacent speakers The expression for acoustic beam transmittance is given as follows, where L is the medium, uh, gamma dash is the damping parameter, nu is the sound velocity, sigma determines the rate at which the sensitivity drops as a function of frequency. An acoustic wave with some angular momentum, momentum is generally uh, generated using a ring of speakers and tubes that guide the sound directly onto the rotating disc, as shown in the figure above. experiment methodology sound absorbing material can be placed or removed in front of both or one of the microphones as shown in the above figure test measurements are taken with the two microphones with or without the absorbing material placed in front of them under experimental conditions to ensure that they exhibit the same acoustic response the data from the microphones are communicated to a computer via bluetooth here you can see that the motor is used to rotate the disc fitted with two closely spaced microphones experimental setup here you can see that the motor is placed here the speakers are there the rotating disc is placed in front of the motor and these are 
the uh, these, this is the collection which produces the acoustic waveguides. General results of the experiment. In this study, it is experimentally demonstrated that Zeldovich amplification is observable using acoustic waves with low on angular momentum L345 and low frequency at the order of 60 Hz. This corresponds to readily accessible rotation rates for the absorbing disk such as the noises are minimized. The acoustic measurements are resolved as a spectrogram and analyzed as a function of disk rotation frequency. The results show an intensity gain of 30% of acoustic energy over a range of orbital angular momenta. These results point to a fundamental wave matter interaction that lies at the heart of a series of physical processes in condensed matter systems, superfluids, and black holes. Above, you can see an example of a measured spectrogram showing the measured acoustic frequency spectrum in the rotating frame for increasing rotation frequencies. Results Rotating absorber versus static absorber. The figure shows the effect of rotation on transmitted acoustic signal for order of angular momentum 4 mode as the disk rotation rate is increased from 0 to 30 hertz. The two curves indicate two different cases. Red curve indicates the absorbing disk is co-rotating with the microphone. Blue curve indicates the absorbing disk is slightly detached from the motor mount so that the microphones rotate while disk remains static. As the rotation speed is increased, the modes are Doppler shifted and the measured signal from both microphones decreases due to lower microphone response at lower acoustic frequencies. As the mode is dropped or shifted through zero frequency at uh, frequency 15 Hz, the measured acoustic frequency increases again and the transmission signal increases. In the non-rotating case, no increase is observed in the transmission signal for the same rotation Doppler shift. Here you can see that the rotating observer case shows a clear increase of the transmitted acoustic amplitude of the Zeldovich condition, which is this. Results Absorbing Microphone versus Non-Absorbing Microphone The figure shows evidence of absolute gain in acoustic signal, that is, transmitted energy is greater than incident energy. In the plot, the red curve shows absorbing foam placed over the microphone, the blue curve shows no absorbing foam over the microphone. The thick solid curves show the theoretical predictions from equation 2. At rotation speeds around 2 to 5 Hz, transmitted signal from microphone 1 is lower than that from microphone 2. Transmitted signal amplification, which happens above 25 Hz, is 30% more than the signal at the slowest rotation speeds, which could not pass through the observer. This indicates absolute gain. We measure more of sound with the rotating observer than without it. Here you can see that the rotation rates greater than 15 Hz, and thus satisfying Zeldovich condition lead to an increase in transmitted transmission signal compared to the non-absorbing case. Conclusion from the experiment This phenomenon is a foundation prediction in physics that lies somewhere between Penrose's proposition that the energy can be extracted from rotating black holes and Hawking's prediction that static black holes will evaporate on interacting with quantum vacuum. Although amplification waves due to a rotating absorber is very hard to verify through optical or electromagnetic waves, direct measurements of it are possible using acoustic waves. Use of geometry in which the waves are transmitted through a thin absorbing cylinder rather than reflected, reflected from an extended cylinder led to the relaxation experimental condition that arose in the original proposal from the requirement that the cylinder length should be larger than the wavelength to ensure interaction or collection of incident waves. List of resources. With this, I conclude my talk and thank you for paying attention.